Alan, the fighting continuing tonight between Israeli forces and Hamas on both sides. Soldiers and civilians suffer. And now the fear is that with attacks and counterattacks spiraling unchecked, there could be all-out war. Tonight, closer to reality as Israeli Defense Force commanders are confirming they have moved ground troops into the Gaza Strip. Since Monday, Hamas has launched more than 1,700 rockets from Gaza, according to Israeli officials, who retaliated with airstrikes on what they called Palestinian military targets. Now tonight, just hours after Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Hamas would pay a very high price, tanks and ground troops have joined the fray, crossing into Gaza. With Hamas commanders promising to attack commercial jetliners flying to and from Israel, Chicago-based United and other airlines have all suspended operations to Tel Aviv. It is a little after 2 a.m. right now in the battle zone, and Israeli government officials have ordered all residents living on the Gaza border to go to their safe rooms until there's an all-clear, which at this point, with ground forces now on the move and in play, could be an extended period of time. Judy. <laughs> As Ramadan ends, surrounded by violence in the Middle East, this outdoor service here includes prayers for friends and relatives overseas. It's important as we have our celebration, we understand that there are other people that are celebrating in different ways.